All right, welcome back, everybody. Hello again. Uh, this is gonna be another playthrough of Resident Evil. I'm trying to figure out where I am currently. So, whew, oh man, this is such a mess. This is a real mess. Oh man. Yeah. This is where things get sour. <clears throat> she is the nastiest witch I have ever seen. <sighs> Here we go. Now, I'm sure everyone already knows that this door, even if you haven't seen the playthrough or if you haven't played it yourself, you know that this door sucks really bad. It's just everything tells you this door is bad. You should not go through it. You should not open that. Like this door should not open forward or back. That unless there's beer or a really hot chick. Other than that, there's a hot chick with beer, even better. But nothing else. This is a really bad door to go through. Oh gosh, I don't want to. Uh, I'm not sure what's worse. Oh no, I definitely know what's worse. I wasn't say what would be worse, knowing what's behind that door or not knowing. And I think both is pretty bad. It's a very um, similar experience. It's similar. I think the first time was way worse because I knew it was me bad and uh, it was just chaos. But this time I know what's behind that door and I know what's happening. And I'm not look I'm not looking forward to that either. Oh man. I really don't want to go through this. Oh boy. Uh, I'm not ready for this. I am not ready for this. <sighs> Maybe I can like, oh dear, what do I do? How has my life come to this already? <sighs> Man, this is a bad game to do a freaking playthrough of. <clears throat> And this is part of the reason why I streamed only part of the game and I never finished it, is because this is just like nasty. Gosh, it's, it's, just, it's just a lot of a lot of hours just is basically this. I see something I don't want to go through. I know something bad's gonna happen, but I just I just suck it up anyway. All right, I think we're ready for this. Are we? Nah, yeah, I, re I really don't want to do this. This is just, this is just, this is just bad. This is just, this is just really bad. This is really bad. No, even that doesn't sound good. All right, let's just. Let's just think about our life choices so far. So far, we've gone to a foreign land that we've never been to and does not look promising to enter at all. It's all beaten down, it's all nasty. First, first one. Second one, we go into this house where just everything's just like rotting away. And then there's like a random crow in the, in the microwave. Already spells bad news. All right, this is poor life choices here. We find our we, we, we find our babe. She's been pantsless this whole time. Is she pantsless? I I don't think she's wearing pants. I don't remember though, but I feel like she's not wearing pants. At least in those photos, she was not wearing pants. So it's safe to say that we she's probably she's probably not worth it. She's calling she's, and she's calling someone else daddy. I'm like who in the heck? Who? No, 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 you don't just call random people that take you in daddy. No, that's not how it works. 
Uh, other life choices. Or other poor life choices. Actually, this is the next one. This is also poor life choices. Like, everything about this looks bad. Yep. I'm sorry, I, I can't do this. Totally cool with this. Once again, poor life choices. Yep. We picked a crazy girlfriend. <clears throat> Other poor life Wait. choices. Yep. Imagine doing this in VR. Like, how crazy would you be? Like, this part right here just looks bad. Bad. Like, I would be pretty terrified. I'm just saying. Poor life choices. I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. Get out! Leave me alone! I've been bad. I deserve this. What the fuck are you, Mia? Crazy. <sighs> Maybe I should drink before. I'm... Yeah, this looks pretty drinkable. Dang. is like this yeah all right so we've killed our babe but this is not one of those like bad bad moments or sad sad stories this is definitely a joyous occasion and I believe this is one of the few times where you can hit your woman one of the few times when she's like a demon and she's like trying to eat you. Yeah. I think it's safe to, I think it's safe to hit her and then be perfectly fine. Like you should not feel bad about it. You should feel terrified that she's gonna come and kill you. But really not the point. Who's this? <clears throat> what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic. Go there. Now. Okay, so door opens, and that is not a way out. Ugh. This is bad. This is just bad. I'm not feeling this at all. So, uh, anything weird? You notice anything weird at all? You know, our awesome babe, not on the ground anymore. The axe is still there. She didn't even like put down the axe, she just like threw it down. So she, you know she's pissed, just saying. I, yeah, if you are going to do this, I would recommend doing it properly. Because we are so dead. We are so dead. Uh, yep, yeah, this is just bad news. <sighs> Interesting. Now, this is the tough part. 
What exactly do we do here? What did we get? Actually. So definitely, so we got a cassette tape. We got an email. We got a hat. We got a hatchet, and we have bolt cutters. Oh. Huh. I'm not sure how I feel about this at all. I think this is going to be really bad. It's just one of those moments we just got to power through. So here's what we're going to do. So at the very beginning when we entered the house, there was a closet that was chained up. So we have to get there first, I believe. Just means something in there is going to allow us to do something else. I would assume... There's going to be something in there. I just have to get there. Yeah, it's just, I know something, but I feel like something bad's going to happen. First of all, to say some of the things that are bad, my, my, my babe's gone. And I, and I might have, uh, you know, hacked her with an axe or a hatchet. So I'm sure she's not thrilled. Still seeing all this. The fuse. Um, fuse goes into the living space. Right. <clears throat> fuse goes to the living space. I believe there's a a button at the top. So. Light, so put the fuse, turn it on, leave, go up the stairs, and prop the stairs down. <sighs> this is taking a lot out of me. This is taking a lot out of me. Remember when I said uh, I don't do well with scary games? I, I, I was perfectly serious. And that's my babe. Walking through the halls. Like it's nobody's business. Not a fan of how. I'm not a fan. What are they eating here? Ugh. I don't know why I care. I, I already know they have horrible hygiene. Everything is just like freaking trash cans in the. Why? Why? I would like to just go upstairs and not deal with any of this. <sighs> I have to go to that room. Which is just gonna be bad. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty bad. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm ready. Because, <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed, but my, my babe just walked through the, in that direction. So, I know she's there somewhere. She has to be there somewhere. I don't know if I'm really grateful that I have good memory, or just really pissed that I have good memory right now. Oh... Either that, or I could be mixing this up with other games. Because I did play Evil Within. And for the most part, that game was scary. At least for the first half of it.
Let's go up the stairs. Up the stairs seems good. Yeah. Probably something good up here. Let's save. Saving is really important. I would recommend doing it. I have no save data. Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Save. I think this I think there's an auto save feature in this game. I really don't care though. Because this is not happening. We're gonna go back to where we started. What's this? What's in this drawer? It's like alligator. I don't know what that is. And you swing very questionably. First floor, second floor, st there's three floors here? I'm not looking forward to this. What's this? I'm not sure who that is. Um. Well. This is pretty nasty. I think my heart's gonna stop at this rate. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I get that out. I'm not sure where she got the what? Oh, screw figure no. So, um, gosh, so scary. So that's what happens when you hit women. I think. I never plan. I, I would hope in my lifetime, I'm never put in this situation. Granted, if I didn't do anything. If we didn't hit her, we would have died. I'm sure she can take... Apparently she can take an axe to the head, so... Or to the neck. 
still though. Would not recommend doing this. Okay, calm down. to me actually can I change that let's see options um display I don't know greens not bad I'm, I'm pretty cool with green look at that I like green where's I have to the arms no idea. Oh! Did not know I could break that. Well, that's, um... That's, uh... That's good to know. What's next? Uh... Well, there's another door, so... Not to worry. Making some progress. Some more ammo. Which is pretty good. Just stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Alright. Boxes are broken, no loot. do here all right so nothing here all right guys so we're gonna stop here for right now I'll continue the other part you know in just a little bit I'm gonna go on a brief break to try to regain as much sanity as I can before the next part happens because I am losing my I am losing I'm losing my soul basically yeah yeah, that, that phrase will work. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, peace out.